It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hi beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Aries. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because I just to keep up with y'all through the comments. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Aries, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well, because it does help me out a lot, Aries. And now I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember, when it comes to receiving this reading today, Aries, to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the cards are just here today, uh, Aries, just to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, Aries, not mine and not these tarot cards, darling. So with all that being said, let's just jump into your tarot reading this week today. <clears throat> So for you, the angel that stepped forward for you to give you your theme of the week of what it is that you're probably going to be experiencing this week, Aries, is uh, Such Sucklaf, Sucklaf, Angel of Verdancy. Now I know one of the other, I believe it was a water sign that got the Angel of Verdancy. And so when it comes to this angel, first I want to point out, Aries, that um, when it comes to this deck in particular, this Oracle deck, I make it a point to hold up the deck, or hold up the card rather, uh, just because the artwork really does play a pretty pivotal role in terms of relaying messages. At least I feel that way. Otherwise, well, I guess it is just gorgeous art either way, darling. Um, but yeah, this is a week for you guys, areas of really nurturing something, really giving, uh, planting your seeds and very, being shown like a seven of pentacles. So this is giving me, giving me very much so like seven of pentacles energy. Aries, I won't be surprised if we see that in the reading today for you in the cards that we pull. Um, yeah, this is just a week of like growth. Now let's get into this growth a little bit more, darling, right? What does this growth entail? And also, honey, Aries, it's over, I believe it's 105 right now up in Washington, honey. And so there's no AC, darling, because I live in Washington. So I'm just going to be looking extra moisturized for this reading. So don't mind me, honey. Um, so let's jump into this reading for you now, uh, Aries. Let's see what clarifiers we can get for your Angel of Verdancy. Let's start this out with the... Four of Cups for you, Aries. This Four of Cups in the reverse, inverted for you, Aries. This is a situation of where you're no longer standing on the sidelines um, this week. You no longer are just looking at what other people are doing and seeing how they're thriving. You're not uh, focusing on or paying it, like looking at what, how everyone else is having fun and you're just staying on the sidelines, being a wallflower, right? Being afraid of being noticed, right? This is a time of action for you, Aries, really stepping forward and really taking your own place, right? Um, in this party that we call this life, honey, right? Don't be afraid of taking up space, Aries. And I feel like this is what it is that's happening for this growth to uh, even occur is because... Uh, for a while, Aries, maybe you just have been keeping yourself back, I feel, and being shown like a cage right now or like a jail cell. <laughs> jail, <laughs> jail cell, honey, the sea getting to me. Jail cell, like the bar is going across, so maybe you guys have been tamp like um, keeping yourself restrained on some level, like keeping yourself, holding yourself back, Aries. The magician card in the reverse, yeah, this is what's been going on for you. Um, with this Magician card, Queen of Cups in the upright, as well as the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is telling me a storyline, Aries, of an individual who has been kind of been on the sidelines for a little bit in terms of whatever it is that you've been, you've been trying to put all your energy into with this Magician card, uh, Aries. I want to just be a fan of myself, honey. Might as well. Hello. So with this uh, Magician card inverted for you, there's... You know, this could be dealing with, I want to, I feel drawn to say it's, this is more so like a passion thing. When I say passion, I mean more so like for my areas that have some type of personal project. Um, you guys have been playing on the sidelines, not really going to your maximum potential, right? I don't see you guys really holding yourself back necessarily because um, we're not seeing any of these sword cards. But with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles now being in the inverted for you, this is showing to me that the reason as to why you haven't been able to, um, or maybe you have been uh, not 
if you're going to be honest with yourself, Aries, you know, let's be honest and say, I don't feel like you guys have been fully tapping into your highest um, potential of creating and being able to bring something forward into your life, right? And I feel like it's because you've been having a lot of insecurities inside. I really do feel like you guys are having the epitome of imposter syndrome here, where it's just like, you have all these great ideas, you really want to open up, Aries, with this uh, Queen of Cups, right? But the King of Pentacles comes in in the reverse, where it's speaking about this insecurity uh, for you, Aries. So, yeah, honey, I'm about to be taking these cards, hello? Like, <laughs> we got through these cards, honey. This is my new fan right now for the rest of this reading, reading Aries, hello? So, uh, yeah, I do feel like this is just a week of you guys start starting to take action. Aries, really take, make it a point this week to get out of your head. I really do feel like your insecurities is what's going to be the biggest blockage for you this week. That is for sure. So, um, yeah, now, Aries, and y'all think I'm joking with this. <laughs> uh, let's get into some of what it is that you should be looking out for this week. Eight of Swords, honey. I mean, this is going to be honing in on this message and probably spoiler alert Aries in terms of what it is you're going to be hearing this week right but I know you guys can handle it Aries you guys have always been my most consistent like I feel like I have a pretty good understanding and connection to my Aries don't y'all think um so yeah Aries I do see this with this eight of swords here this is all like self-constricting beliefs, right? This is all about where, I mean, and I think I even addressed to this to you from your previous reading, Aries, and that I felt as if you guys were going through a little bit of a money block, honestly. And I feel like you guys still, like this is now we're tapping into a little bit of to why you're experiencing a little bit of a money block. Maybe the stuff that you've been doing, right? Because I don't feel like you've changed anything up necessarily, but the stuff that you've been doing doesn't have as much of that spark as it once did for you um and maybe it's just not providing in the way that it sh i don't know aries i'm not gonna hone on it too much more i feel like you guys kind of know where it is you need to start focusing on so let's get some more cards nine of pentacles in the reverse you guys haven't been listening to your gut instinct you guys uh aries you guys have a good business mindset or at least a good intuition when it comes to um where it is you need to be going but i do feel like you guys have been neglecting this side to you now if you are spiritual as well and you connect to your spirit guides and ancestors aries i do feel inclined to call you some of you guys out your spirit guides are really trying to say like hey you're not paying attention you're not paying attention to us aries because i see with this card I mean, i'm not gonna stop fanning myself honey um with the owl here i see that as the representation of your spirit trying to guide you along trying to show you where it is showing you the way where you need to be going next and trying to help you out right nine of cups in the reverse as well nine's following you right off the bat this is all about like internal stuff aries very internal the lover's card right and let's do one final one the nine of wands okay aries you got three nines so far the only nine that you didn't get is the nine of swords what i am going to say here now is write down the number nine for numerology see how it relates to you in your life this week but um also aries this is really the sense here of I feel like this is your Achilles heel, truly. This is your Achilles heel um, of where I feel like you're going to consistently hit like a block in your life or hit this wall in your life, Aries, where it's just like you almost like once bigger decisions are like brought up to you um, that really, how do I want to put this? It feels almost like the more responsibility that you're going to be set up with, Aries, the more that you kind of separate yourself from it and i feel like it's partially because of this eight of swords situation here where it's just like i feel like you could you know and i even said from one of your other readings where i felt as if you could be tapping into more of your potential aries um and i feel like the eight of swords is the reason as to why you haven't it's just because like you have these grand ideas and i know you have these grand ideas but it's almost like you just push it off and just like ah no it's not for me not my storyline right so um yeah aries let's now get into some of the good stuff that's in the works for y'all this week y'all aries i'm fanning myself literally this entire time honey and i'm still sweating like a racehorse y'all oh. <laughs> the things i do for y'all because i love y'all <laughs> so let's get into the good stuff that is in the works for you this week aries we have the king of wands starting out this energy this is you right this fire element this is you being in your element aries um definitely taking charge right this is you 
taking charge and that's how the, this growth happens as i said from the very beginning aries really ultimately and this is kind of a common theme for a couple other signs as well uh aries in that really like the biggest thing holding you back right now is just yourself ask yourself the question of what it is that you can do um to create a more productive environment for yourself aries right um let's get into this with a few clarifiers two of cups coming in here i like this tower card in the reverse okay okay and the chariot card in the reverse so aries you guys were on the track you had something in your life that was on the track towards destruction you were something was on the path towards destruction in your life and i feel like it's kind of being put to a halt and i feel like this is actually a good thing right now i don't want to get into actual details with this aries just because y'all will know how it's fitting for your life in specific but this is letting me know of a situation where um almost like Aries, if there's something you don't want to lose, fight for it. Because if you fight for it, I see it really coming into fruition for you. I see it actually being extremely beneficial for you. That's what I'm going to say about that. I'm getting just this heavy correlation. If whatever it is that you're not wanting to give up on, Aries, like fight for it. And I don't know if you guys are in this place right now where um you guys are losing out hope on it or feel like it's a lost cause with something but i feel like you guys uh aries are feeling a little bit hopeless with something and so it's coming in in such a clear message of where it's just like fight for it aries if you want it so badly fight for it right because but it's up to you you have to be the king of wands you can't be the lion here back in the back and um not taking action you have to be the one taking charge aries kind of this constant theme for your reading so far as i said from the beginning aries right can't say i didn't warn you darling um about this but yeah really just fight for it aries this message is trying to come through so now darling let's get into Aries, your social situation this week. Now, when I say your social situation, Aries, I mean more than just your romantic, darling. We have friendships, we have those platonic relationships, we have work, we have family, darling. Let's see what's going on there for your uh, uh, social situations, Aries. Starting this out, we have the waning moon. What do you need to release? So when it comes to, I would even be bold enough to say, Aries, with that last part that we had in your general portion, this is what was um, being addressed right here, is some type of individual of asking yourself of where it's like, perhaps, you know, what is holding yourself back, right, from fighting for this connection? What is holding yourself back from just taking action in general, right? So maybe this is a sense of for, uh, forgiveness, though. What is something that you need to, uh, you know, let's see. Let me not continue running my mouth, Aries. Let's get some clarifiers. King of Swords in the reverse. So there is some type of connection that you don't know what to feel about, right? And I feel like you guys, Aries, might be clinging on to, like, especially with this King of Swords in the reverse, paired with that waning moon, saying what it is that you need to release. It's giving me this impression, Aries, where it's like something's triggering you. And it's like you're not allowing something in deeper because of, like, your own reservations that you might be having. Eight of Wands here. Is this because you don't, you're having this strong desire to just make maintain your independence or is your independence being intruded on six of wands so this is a sense here with aries where you're identifying something as like a threat um and i almost want to be bold enough to say something's kind of scratching at your scratching at your ego kind of eating at you and i feel like for some of you guys depending on if you're not careful with this uh aries you know i'm gonna have to just be blunt here um it feels like something that's been eating at your ego with some type of connection if you don't ask yourself what it is that you need to personally release with this and keep your ego in check i do feel like i see i don't know i just see someone's mental deteriorating when it comes to a connection because of their own um for some reason like you're you feel like you're being threatened with this eight of wands here and the six of wands in the reverse you're you're having like this insecurity in like how you how good you are like you're losing sight because of some other person you're losing sight of your own capabilities and i don't know if it's this is like five of wands in the reverse okay so it's not causing conflict it just is showing to me where it's like some type of connection that's in your life right now aries is causing some level of insecurity um lean into that more rather than identifying this as something that's bad aries see what it's here to teach you more so than identifying it as something bad and just trying to stay away from it is something that i'm feeling especially with that five of wands in the reverse hanged man yeah 
Hanged Man is showing to me areas where it's worth seeing a different perspective from what it, you're currently seeing when it comes to this connection. Now, I don't know what's going on with y'all and what this connection's about, right? If this is about, you know, especially when it comes to that X, ener and X energy, honey, Aries. Y'all know I'm not about it, right? Keep that normal to y'all. Um, <laughs> but definitely look at the connections that you have going on in your life this week, Aries, and see which ones um, are triggering you. And maybe just use that to motivate you rather than potentially just putting you in that spot. I'm just really concerned for y'all, really, just because of that King of Swords in the reverse, if I'm going to be honest, Aries. But um, yeah, now, Aries, let's get into your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on there for y'all. Let's see here. We have the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off, darling. This is a beautiful card to be having for your career, don't you think, honey? All right, your hard work is paying off for my Aries that have been putting energy into, that has been consistently putting energy into something. You know, I want to go back to that Seven of Pentacles, right, that I referenced at the very beginning of this reading, right? For my Aries that have been planting their seeds, laying the foundation, truly, when it comes to building up further stability in their life and when i say stability right you know it's career stability financial stability right you're about to have your harvest i would be saying bold enough to be saying so let's get into this let's get some clarifiers we have the five of cups coming in here we have the wheel card coming in here yeah you guys have been going through areas a little bit of a dry spell i would be bold enough to say finances probably haven't been all that lovely for you recently right i feel like for myself employed areas you probably haven't been making nearly as much well i don't want to say nearly as much but you haven't been making or progressing as much as you were before the moon card stepping forward this is giving me such an energy where it's like things are about to be just and i know it sounds dramatic and so cliche aries but in this type of verbiage with these cards this lets me know with this moon card like right now you're at the five of cups where it's just like some type of like inconvenience some type of obstacles happening right now when it comes to your career and finances aries and then we have the wheel card paired with the moon card coming in here so this gives a dynamic where something's about to be changing um, in your life areas that you're not going to be anticipating. So this, you know, for, I gave this example, I believe, for like my Tauruses as well. Funny how like both you, uh, both, I said it for Tauruses um, uh, for their reading uh, areas, but I was just like, oh yeah, y'all are like um, twins, like in the opposite sense. And like, I felt like their reading was very mirroring uh, y'all's reading last week as well. Do y'all have a lot, like, do my Aries have a lot of Taurus in their chart? I kind of want to suggest it. But as I was saying, like, I told the uh, Tauruses where it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if you have, like, an influx of, uh, like, if you're self-employed Aries, I wouldn't be surprised if you had, like, an influx of sales coming in this week. Or I wouldn't be surprised if, like, maybe you got, like, a raise if you work a 9 to 5. Or just even if from, like, my uh, Aries that are trying to uh, put, the, put themselves out there i really do i don't know i just get the sense that some type of uh whatever you're feeling blocked right now but things are about to be changing knight of wands yeah things are about to be changing really quick and it's going to be really motivating for you aries to get back to work is what i'm feeling it feels like this is going to bring breathe in new life for you when it comes to your work motivation so now, Aries, before i close out this tarot reading for you this weekly horoscope for you darling i want to Pull a quote card, because uh, y'all know if you're not new to my channel, Aries, I love me some quotes, honey. So let's see what quote we have for you this week. We have, joy is the ultimate creator. So definitely, Aries, this is kind of calling you guys out in terms of your mindset. Take this quote with you throughout this week. If you guys are catching yourself spiraling, as I said before, right? Catching yourself spiraling, going into those like lower vibrational mindsets, right? That's, you know, your con what it is that you're thinking, the energy that you're putting out there. Law of attraction, darling, right? Um, is what you're going to be creating. So focus on the highest vibrational emotions that you can, which is like joy, Aries. And that's when you're going to bring forth a lot more in your life. I do feel inclined to also just tell my Aries to breathe. Um, I feel like some of you Aries kind of have, like even while you've been watching this reading, having your shoulders up high and maybe your chest is tight um, a little bit. And I feel like you guys need to make a conscious effort, Aries, to just like relax each part of your body. Um, drink some water, right? Um, do some self-care things to just like keep yourself grounded. I feel like you've been a little bit ungrounded recently, Aries. 
But um, yeah, darling, that is the re weekly tarot reading that I have for you. I appreciate it, Aries, that you've been patient with me during this entire time when it comes to this reading as I've been sweating like a racehorse and been fanning myself with some tarot cards, darling. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, though, Aries, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated. Let me know how they resonated. If you did enjoy this reading, give this video a like and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Aries, my website is simplyvelka.com. It's just listed down in the description box below, along with my social medias, so, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, everything darling is just simply welcome. But yeah, until I connect, can connect with you sometime, hopefully in the near future, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.